what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so excuse the way i look i'm in some comfy clothes because i plan on cleaning up today today is friday so i want to get this house straightened up and put in order before the weekend starts because i really don't want to spend my weekend cleaning so that's exactly what we're going to do today so first things first we're going to open up some windows and let a breeze in but before we get into cleaning i'm actually going to pick out some smells to burn in my living room of course this is my little basket filled with all types of goodies I have so many wax melts and candles a lot of them are still from Christmas I have some Valentine ones left I also have Halloween and then of course the new spring collection from cozy me candles so I know there's a better way of organizing this I just haven't figured it out yet I'll probably have to take everything out because it's like overgrowing this basket really quick but I just wanted to pick something out to put in my burner I'm not gonna burn the peeps I think I'll save those for another time I'm gonna save all of these for when it's more spring outside these actually need to go into my kitchen where my oil diffuser is and I'm thinking that I'll probably go ahead and just burn these this is from waxy taffy and this scent smells like fresh rain ocean air sea grass and sandalwood i've actually been burning this in my burner already so we're just going to go ahead and take this into the living room and put it in my wax burner so here is my wax burner and i've got it on my bar over here in the corner so that way it smells up my living room and my kitchen and then you just take the little top off it's like a little lantern with a little light up tree so cute it lets off like the perfect amount of light and you guys know that I bought this from Walmart I'm pretty sure this is the same exact scent that I burned in it yesterday so these scents do last for about a day or two so you just lift this tray off of this one and then you can just go dump it so that's what I'm about to do right now guys so I got it cleaned out as you can tell um, I didn't really clean it out the best today but for those of you who are wondering what exactly I use to clean these out I usually will put a cotton swab down in there and then it'll like suck it all up or you can also take a used dryer sheet so instead of tossing them out just hold on to them and then you can clean these out and it's just so easy so we're gonna put this in there and let it start smelling up my living room And then I thought I'd insert a few clips from last night. I went to Walmart and I picked a few goodies up for my living room. You guys know that my living room is super bare. I got rid of all of my old furniture because it didn't go with the new paint and the new look that I'm trying to go with. So I found this lamp over there and I have plenty of light in my living room. But since we changed the walls to gray, we also changed out all of our lights, the ones that hang on our wall, the lights that hang over our bar, and also our end table lights. And we also changed the light bulbs. So it's super bright in here. So I decided to get this light to put in my living room so that I can put a yellow tinted light bulb in it. So that way, at the end of the day, I can turn it on and it's not so bright in here and it's just more relaxing. So this is what it ended up looking like. I think it's super cute. It's really tall and it has little bitty shelves on it and that's what I love about it because I like to set things on it like little decorative pieces. I've got this little picture of us, and then I got this plant from Walmart last night for $5. It was a really good deal, and then I just set this little thing up here, and it says, this is us, our story, our life, our home. So now that I showed you guys that, I'm going to go ahead and light up my Hello Spring candle from Cozy Me Candles so that I can get the living room smelling like springtime, and then we'll get busy cleaning. So I'm just going to start picking some things up around here. This is where my husband sets and plays his game, so I was just fixing the cushions on there. Then I'm just going to straighten up the couches.
So I'm about to start wiping down my couches and everything. You guys know that that's how I keep my couches smelling fresh. I do have cats, I do have dogs. And to like cut down on like animal odor, um, I like to wipe the fabric of my couches down. It makes them smell so good. And then it also keeps them looking new. Even though I don't plan on keeping this brown furniture because it just doesn't go with what I'm wanting in my living room, I still wanna keep them as clean as possible while we have them. So this is going to be the first time I've showed you guys this on my channel. This stuff smells absolutely amazing and it is a bright pink color. This is called Pen Allen and it is a multi-purpose cleaner. My mother used to use this all the time while we were growing up. Like when I think of home, this is what I think of. It's this smell. She always used this to wipe down our couches. That's how I learned that. She would also wipe down the walls, the floors, just everything. And believe it or not, I got this big bottle at the Family Dollar and I think it was like $1.50. It might have even been just $1.00. So growing up, my mother never had a bottle this big. They only come in the smaller size bottles. It's a really good deal for the price, so definitely check this out. I cannot explain to you guys exactly what it smells like. It just smells so fresh, so clean. This reminds me of whenever it's spring outside and really windy and you hang your clothes out to dry and it's just got that really good smell to them. And I usually shop at Walmart for my cleaning supplies or I like go to Target or whatever. And I can never find this stuff ever. I know that they do have this in the big green tub and it's got like pine cones all over it. But I only like to use that kind whenever it's like Christmas because the pine cones smell and everything. And I never ever seen this at Walmart or Target until the other day I went to the dollar store, not the Dollar Tree where everything's a dollar, it was like family dollar, and I walked through their cleaning aisle, and of course I did not see this, but then I walked in the aisle where everything is one dollar, and look what was sitting on the shelf. I was so happy that I found it that I actually bought three bottles of it, and then when I seen my mom the other day, I told her that I had found it, and she was like, yeah, they sell it at the family dollar, I thought you knew that. So this whole time, I've only had my own place for about seven years now since I had my daughter. This whole time, I've been cleaning with Pine Saw and Mr. Clean, when all along I could have been cleaning with this. So definitely pick a bottle of this up and give it a try. It's only $2 at the most, and look at the size of it. And this is what it's good for cleaning. It's multi-purpose. You can use it in your kitchen. You can use it in your bathroom, your toilet bowls. You can use it to clean up your floors but I really like to use it on my couch. This smell lasts at least seven to eight days. So I've got this rag. I had it soaking in a bucket of water with some of this mixed in it. So I'm gonna use that to wipe my couches down. And then of course I've got a Febreze bottle and I'm just gonna spray down my couches with the Febreze and my area rug just to keep things smelling fresh. And then of course, since I've got my windows open today, I've got my Cozy Me Candle Spring Morning Spray. This is a room in linen spray. This is new to her collection. So since it's such a beautiful day outside and the breeze is coming through my house, I'm gonna spray this on my top curtains and then I'll probably give my couches one or two sprays. I know it seems like a lot to be spraying around in my house, but I've got it in my front door and I've got about five windows opened up in here. So it's very well ventilated. So I'm gonna quit talking and I'm gonna start wiping my couches down. So the cushions of my couches do have zippers on them so I have the option to unzip them and just throw them in the washer and I do like to do that maybe every two to three months but I don't want to wash them too much because I don't want them to show wear. That is why I keep them covered up with blankets to protect them and keep them looking new.
So now I'm just going to spray my Cozy Me candle spray on my couch and get it smelling so good. And then once I'm done with the big couch, I'm going to move on to the love seat. Now I just ran to the back and grabbed some more throws for my couch. So when I had brown walls, I'd always look for browns and reds, oranges, any color throws to put on my couch to protect it. But now since my walls are gray, none of those colors go with. So I've looked everywhere for the gray throws and I cannot find them anywhere. So when I finally found them at a store, I stocked up and bought like six of them. And I know you guys have probably already noticed these are the pillows from my bed. I use them just for decoration. I take them off every single night. So I thought why not bring them into my living room so that it can help brighten everything up because the couch is so dark. This is what I was talking about. See how the lights on this wall where my TV is are so bright? Well, you can't just turn one light on at a time. When you flip the switch, they both come on. So it's too bright to have on at nighttime whenever you're just trying to watch TV. So that's why I bought the pole lamp in front of my windows. So that way I can put a warm light bulb in it and I can just turn that on whenever we don't have guests over and we can just chill and it's not too bright. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have already noticed the picture frame, the collage that was in my room. I actually moved it into here. Okay guys, so now that I wiped everything down and swept, I'm going to get my Swiffer out and start Swiffering the floors. 
but instead of using the spray that's connected to my Swiffer, I'm actually going to just spray some Spick and Span. And the scent is Wild Lavender. And it says, last and fresh scent all day. It's a multi-surface cleaner. I usually use the green kind, but this week I've been using the purple, as you can see how much I've used already. And instead of using a Swiffer pad, and instead of using a Swiffer pad like I usually do, I'm actually gonna use this rag. And I actually get this out of the car detailing owl. I got a pack of them. And the reason why I'm gonna use this on the bottom of my Swiffer is because it picks up pet hair so good. As you guys can see, I also used one to wipe my couch off because pet hair just like sticks to it like a magnet. As to whenever I use the pads for the Swiffer, it's like picking up all the dirt and stuff on the floor, but I always see it leaving behind little, little white hairs from my dog. So ever since I start using this, it's like what I use all the time. Okay, so I'm just now getting to my bed. I actually stripped it this morning and threw everything in the wash. And it just got done in the dryer, so that's why I'm so late making it. But either way, it's getting done. And then we'll move on into the kitchen. So my living room's clean. The breeze is coming through and of course my puppies are already messing my couch up. As you can see, they're on top of my pillows. And yes, I allow them on the furniture. They're not outside animals. I give them baths. So they're very clean. Now we're moving on to this mess. Having a bar becomes a catch-all. And then I just need to straighten this little corner up right here. There's the wax burner. And then we've got this little DVD player out. It goes in the car. We're going to take that on our trip to Panama with us. And then of course, I've got a sink full of dirty dishes. And I just need to like straighten some stuff up. But I did wanna show you guys, look at these rugs that I got. I got these from Walmart whenever I got that lamp in my living room. I picked up one for in front of my sink, and then I also picked another up for in front of my fridge. And of course, look what the cats are doing to it. I swear I cannot have nothing. I cannot have nice stuff, and I definitely cannot have a clean house. What are you doing? What are you doing? So along with the new rugs, I got this little dish towel to hang on my stove. And I'm just going to jump right in and start washing my dishes. Okay, so dishes are done. I'm just clearing off the bar. I'm trying to put things away as I go. And then I'm just gonna get my spick and span back out. I'm gonna spray down my countertops and then give them a good cleaning.
And so now I'm just going to go ahead and put the dishes up. So I used to get my dish drainer out and just let it sit here all the time, but I actually put it up in a way because if I have the dish drainer on the countertop, I'll fill it up with dishes after cleaning them and then they'll end up setting half the day. And I really like for the bar to look decluttered. So I pretty much just start keeping it in the cabinet and I put a dish towel down and let my dishes dry. Guys, so now that my countertops are wiped off, I just wanted to show you guys how they're holding up. They're still doing really good without the epoxy. You can see all of the glitter. I really do like them. And you guys know me, I wipe my countertops down at least three to four times a day and still no chipping the paint, the glitter still sticking and everything's just still holding up really well so over here on these cabinets you'll notice three of them do not have the knobs on them we have the knobs plus extra but for some reason the screws are not long enough for just these three cabinets i have no clue why they're all the same size so we're gonna have to go to lowe's and pick up certain screws so that we can screw the knob onto them so yeah just in case you were wondering and then here's just an overall look of everything. It's slowly but surely coming together. And I don't know if anyone noticed yet, but I did get around to painting my hallway. As you can see, it was such a workout only because the hallway is so long. And I had to paint both walls. And there's so much trim in there because we do have some closets through the hallway that I just like store certain things like my vacuum and carpet cleaner. But yeah, that's already painted. So now every room in the house matches besides Harmony's room because of course her walls are pink. So all we really have to do is get couches. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a sectional. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with the gray, maybe a charcoal gray. My ideal would be like black leather but that'll probably never happen because the dogs will tear the fabric up with their nails. Yeah, whenever I go furniture shopping, I'm sure I'll take you guys along in a video. Okay guys, so I got everything wiped down. I did Windex the front of my stove off of camera. And um, now I've just got everything swept up into a pal. You guys know how it goes with these dark floors. I can sweep every single day and then still end up with a pal that looks just like this. I don't know where it comes from, but yeah. So I'm just gonna finish sweeping this up and then I'm gonna hit this with the Swiffer. And then my house is pretty much cleaned up. Harmony's room's already clean. I cleaned that last night while she was doing her homework in there. So yeah. Um, I think I'm going to end this video so that I can run over to Walmart and pick up a few things that we need for around the house for whenever we're gone on vacation. But I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope I help you guys get some motivation to start cleaning. If it feels good outside, guys, all the motivation that you really need is to open up a window, let a fresh breeze through, open up your blinds, let the light in, and um, just get busy because house ain't gonna clean itself once your house is clean you're gonna feel so much better but make sure you give this video a big thumbs up leave me some love down in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time bye